What you see here is the legacy of Heinrich Escher Zollikofer. In his working life, Heinrich made a fortune as a businessman, but his true interest was the collection of insects, mainly butterflies. He used his travels abroad to expand his private insect museum, and after his death, the collection was inherited among others by his son, Alfred. Alfred Escher was also one of the founders of ETH. So in 1858, Alfred donated his father's insect collection to the newly founded university, giving rise to the entomological collection of the ETH. At the time of its foundation, the entomological collection was an attraction. The public was interested in taxonomy and the collection was thriving. But this didn't last long. A lack of personnel and the fact that teaching was viewed as more important than curation led to its neglection. It would take until 1958, a whole century after its foundation, that the entomological collection would gain in importance once again. This was due to a new threat, the large bud moth, a small insect capable of destroying whole forests. The fight against it channeled money into the collection and brought it to never seen grandeur. Today, more than ever before, the future of the collection is taking a completely new shape. The Entomological Institute is working on an ambitious project to render all 2 million specimens in the Institute digitally available worldwide. This would help promote research in the field and assure the preservation of this very precious cultural treasure in time.